My name's Ben Chilevin and I'm one of the founders of ISO Spaces. Here at ISO Spaces we design and manufacture bespoke shipping container conversions. We make everything from bars, restaurants, through to social housing developments that we're currently installing up in London. We started the business three and a half years ago with my fellow co-founder Greg Curtis. We actually used to work in finance and we didn't have any sort of background in engineering or manufacturing. But we saw a gap in the market for high-end uh, design-led container conversions. So we bought a container, started working on it, and the business has just grown and grown. So it's just over three years ago we started working with Oxford Innovation, uh, particularly with Claire Whitney. And we started off with a very small marketing plan and a business plan for the original uh, Oxford Innovation Ignite competition. And we've worked with Claire and various other coaches over the years who really contributed to helping us grow as a business. I'm Claire Whitney, I'm a business coach with Oxford Innovation and I focus on strategy, marketing and overall growth. My job is focusing with businesses that want to grow and forming good relationships with those businesses so that I can try and bring in the right coach at the right time to help with that specific issue. I started working with Ben in October 2013, Ben Gregg, when I, I, I arrived to come and help him put together a business plan for a competition. Um, there was a, a bazillion ideas and no plan at all. We worked very intensively for a month and came up with a plan and uh, then the business started trading a couple of months after that. I'm also a business coach on the Transform project uh, here in Cornwall. Uh, so my role really was to look at how their processes worked and to try and help them to put those ideas into practice. My background's manufacturing engineering and it's clear that, uh, that that was kind of a skill that they needed. And it's fantastic to see that they're now actually uh, building a factory, they're manufacturing a lot of stuff in-house. They've moved uh, twice in the time that we've been working with them and the, uh, the amount of output from uh, the new factory is really quite extraordinary. A great testament to them both. We're, we're very much focused now on the next stage of growth. Um, the, the founders are still very ambitious, they haven't been put off yet, so we're looking forward to what the business is going to look like next year. Oxford Innovation provide a fantastic consultancy service which if you were looking to bring that in externally would cost you an absolute fortune and as a small growth business it's probably somewhere that you wouldn't look to, to invest your capital, so to have that support provided uh, is absolutely fantastic that we can get that here in Cornwall and have access to the same people who know the business and help you grow and also to a variety of coaches who've worked in different industries um, you know, to bring different support across the business. So in the future, for looking forward to 2017 and beyond, we're looking to increase uh, production here in the factory. We've already doubled the size here in the last six months. We'll be looking to increase that size again to, to deal with the orders that we've got coming in. We're looking to grow the bespoke side of the business as well as the multiple development side. We've recently recruited a more senior management team, so we've got them in place and we're looking to, to train up more staff as we bring them on, including apprentices, uh, which is something we're looking at for the middle of next year. Again, all to increase our production. We're also looking to increase the design department so we can bring in more skilled design engineers and more technology, so we can take a more technological-based view to, to the construction by designing more in at the front end, just to continue the growth of the business, really.